Hello, hello, hello. Eric Worre here, and here's a question for you. Does it take courage to be an entrepreneur? Does it take courage to be an entrepreneur or just hard work? Does it take courage or hard work and vision? Um, and if it does take courage, put it in, into the chat, number one, where you're connecting from. Um, I'd like to see where you're connecting from. That's always fun for me. And second, put into the chat, do you think it takes courage or not? Does it take courage to be an entrepreneur or not? All right. I'd like to, I'd like to get your opinion on that. And um, we're going to be chatting about that today. And we've got a couple special guests, you know, a couple international guests, uh, at least one. And we'll, we'll find out if the other one had, has figured out the internet uh, or technology challenges uh, this morning, having a couple challenges. But we're going to be talking about uh, courage. We're going to be talking about what it takes to really go build something of your own, to be able to expand your vision, to be able to um, expand your impact, your reach. All right? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you know somebody that, that might get some value from developing a little bit more courage, then smash the share button and let them know um, that this is happening. Whether you're watching live or replay, either one's fine. Before we start, I got to tell you one thing. If you already have your ticket to GoPro 2021, December 3rd, 4th, and 5th, if you already have your ticket, put a number one into the comments. If you already have your ticket to GoPro 2021, December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Put a number one into the comments. If you don't have, if you don't have your ticket, let me just encourage you to get your ticket today. This is going to be the most outrageous, spectacular, unbelievable event in network marketing history. Uh, you can go to special.gopro2021.com to learn all about it and to get your ticket. Special.gopro. 2021.com to get your ticket. So um, do that today. Don't be don't be crazy and decide to miss that event for whatever reason. It's just uh, that that'd be crazy. Special.gopro2021.com. Uh, if you're going to, if you haven't got your ticket yet, but you're going to, put a number two into the comments. Okay. Um, if you haven't, but you're going to, put a number two into the comments. All right. So let's. Bring in our special guest, and uh, this this lady, Ann Turnbull, uh, I've known for some time now. She's a top builder, and she decided to go build internationally, build a huge business internationally. I'll let her tell a little bit of her story. Um, but Ann, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's awesome to I'm be glad, here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your story and how you arrived here today? Yeah, great. Absolutely. So, you know, my story, at least the beginning of it is is pretty simple. It's a lot like a lot of people's stories. So I'm Canadian. I, I lived in Toronto. I was doing well in the corporate world, you know, climbing the ladder in my 20s and 30s. But as I entered my 40s, I, I started to think to myself, is this all there is? And I realized that the money alone was not really doing it for me. So I, I wanted to do something that would you know, um, leave more of an imprint in the world, but I really didn't know what it could be. And I was divorced on my own. So I had a lot of bills to pay. I had debt. I didn't have, you know, enough savings for the future. So I felt a bit stuck because I knew I wanted to do something, but I didn't think I could leave my job. So um, one of my best friends introduced me to network marketing and I didn't even know what network marketing was. I didn't know what the company was. She just said, I found something. I think it'll be good for us. I said, great, you know, sign me up. I didn't have to quit my job. I didn't have to invest a ton of money. And so I, I started. And, you know, I, I remember I, I got my product package. I didn't even open it. I left it in the mailroom of our, of our building for several weeks. <laughs> and But I started. And I started slow and steady. I wasn't one of these... Um, 
uh, rocket ship to the top type of people. I was slow, steady. I kept my corporate job. You know, after three or four years, I was I was earning a little bit of money, you know, a few thousand dollars a month. And I thought I was doing pretty well. And then uh, I had the chance to go to Africa for the first time I'd never been. Our company was going to be opening up in Ghana and I went to Africa and that trip really changed everything. When I saw the the impact that our products were making when i saw the impact the the business opportunity was having on people i just it just somehow touched my heart and i felt like this was what i've been waiting for this was where i was meant to to live my purpose on this earth and so i went back to canada i ended up quitting my job i moved to ghana africa at the time and you know, my family all thought I was crazy because I wasn't earning enough money in my in my network marketing business to sustain myself. But I just I just felt so strongly that this was what I was meant to be doing. You know, I had some savings, and I I just thought this is it. And so um, you know, I remember my mom my mom would say to me, "Well, can't you go back to your corporate job? You were so good at it, dear." You know, she would say, "You know, do you think they'll take you back?" And I would say, yes, you know, mom, they will take me back. I was good at it, but I'm I'm changing the world. This is what's making me happy. And I know they just couldn't really understand it. And when I had the chance to um, start going to Nigeria, our company was going to be opening there. I could see that this was a chance to even broaden the impact that much further. And so I moved to Nigeria. And a few years later, I sold everything I had in Canada and and I'm now a permanent resident in Nigeria. And it's certainly not without challenges. There are many, many. But, you know, it's also so rewarding because the people are amazing to know that you're making that kind of a difference in the world feels so fantastic. And today, you know, our team has enrolled over 70,000 customers and distributors. I'm one of the top earners in the world. But. I know that I've just begun. There is so much more to do. And it's it's been such a joyful, joyful journey. So um it's it's been it's been amazing. Yeah, well, congratulations on your success. And uh I do believe success leaves clues, and I think the experience itself causes us to um learn, expand, change, adapt. Uh, and gives us also the ability to teach, the ability to tell people, here's what happened for me, here's what was important for me, and here's what I did about it. So I'm going to pass the stage to you, and um, and again, for all those that are asking questions about GoPro, let me just quickly put the link up again. Um, if you ha don't have your ticket yet, December 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Go to special.gopro2021.com. We have lots of specials and bonuses for people who get their tickets. Very inexpensive. Uh, biggest event in network marketing history. It's going to be amazing. Get your ticket today. It's going to be great. Um, but, Anne, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you uh, offer some of that education that has been helpful for you and, um, and share it with everybody. So go ahead. Take the stage. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eric. Yeah. You know, as I thought about what I wanted to teach today, a lot of people have have told me, wow, you know, you have so much courage. You moved to a, a strange continent and gave up everything in your comfortable life to go and, and build a business. And, you know, the, the, the root word of courage is comes from the Latin word core, which means heart. And when you really listen to your heart, it will speak to you and it will guide you on what to do. And as I thought about, you know, what really gave me the courage to go and do the things I've done to build my business, I, I wanted to share just a few things. And the first is belief, you know, when you have that belief. And I'll, I'll tell you, when I first started my company, it was kind of a funny story. I was introduced by one of my best friends, like I said, and at the time I joined with my boyfriend. Uh, we had been thinking what we could do. We'd been talking to my friend. What kind of a business could we start together? So the three of us joined together. And I remember the first meeting with the company executives. And they were spending their entire focus talking to him. They were, they, they were ignoring me completely. 
And I thought to myself, I said, in my head, of course, I said, you have no idea. And wouldn't you know it, my best friend um, never did the business. My boyfriend broke up with me a week later. He never did the business. Now, by that time, our upline had told us we had to be at convention. I just joined the company. The big convention was happening a few weeks later in the United States. I was in Canada. So I had already bought my ticket. My boyfriend was gone. My best friend was gone. And I said, I'm going. You know, if this is what I'm, I, I've been told I have to do. I'm going. And that event, as we know, events are the, the very bedrock of belief building. That event, a few weeks into my network marketing journey, cemented everything for me. You know, belief is really about accepting as true. You don't, you don't have to know how, you don't have to understand it, you don't have to know what it's going to look like, you just have to accept it as true. And after that event, I knew, I accepted as true that I would be a top income earner. And funnily enough, I used to include this in my story, and in preparing for today, I realized something I had done that I will never do again. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you all so that you also don't do it. Here's what I used to say in my story. I used to say that I know I will make it all the way to the top, even if it takes me 10 years, because I'm going to be working for 10 years anyways. So why not do something for myself? And at the end of that 10 years, I've achieved, you know, the top. So that's what I used to say. And as I was reflecting for today and preparing, I thought, you know what? It actually took me about 10 years to get to the top of my company. And I realized that I had put it out there in the universe. That's what I asked for. I asked for 10 years and that's what I got. And I'm kicking myself because why didn't I ask for five years or three years? But no, I asked for 10 years. So right now I have new goals right now, you know, because my heart has always wanted to make a difference. That's really what I have wanted to do with my life is to make a difference for others. And so now that I've reached the top in my company after 10 years, I've only ever been with one company. I'm 12 years in now. Um, my new goal is to impact a million families. And I want to raise top global earners in my business. And I am not going to be asking for 10 years. I'm going to be asking for a much shorter time frame. So that that's what I put out into the universe. And that's what comes back. So, you know, one little lesson from, from uh, this is don't underestimate people when you're talking to them. You know, those company executives who are all long gone now, by the way, they were all looking at my boyfriend at the time and they had no idea that I had that potential in me. So always, always be open to discovering potential. I think that's very important. So that belief was something that really gave me a lot of courage. And then the second thing that really gave me courage and continues to do it every single time is people, you know, it's interesting because in network marketing, our companies are in the product or service business. Our companies are in the payment business. You know, they take care of the compensation. They take care of developing the products and the services. We are in the people business. That is our only job. We're in the people business. We're not in the product business. We're not in the payment plan business. We're in the people business. And so it's been people that have really really given me the ability to be resourceful. You know, when I moved to Africa, I didn't know how to do things. I didn't know how to, to um, move to the next level. I didn't know how to navigate my way. But people gave me that ability, the relationships I developed. People give me the inspiration every day to do more of what I do. You know, I, I remember at, at Christmas um, a year or two ago, my brother asked me, Remember, my family, none of my family is in is in my business at all. They never have been. Um, none of them probably really understand what I do. Uh, my mom in particular, you know, still um, really doesn't get it and doesn't know why I have to be all the way over here in Africa when I should be at home, closer to the family. Um, but I remember my brother asked me, he said, well, now that you've made it to the top, uh, are you going to retire? You know, are you going to come back? And I thought to myself, retire? Oh my goodness, no, because it's the people that need me. 
you know, just because I have made it, I, I have an obligation to help bring other people up. And I always think, particularly where I am in Africa, you know, someone goes, goes all out to figure out a way to get started in business. You know, maybe they even borrow, maybe they put their life savings into the smallest package that there is to get started. If I'm not there creating training and systems and encouragement and mentoring people, I've just let them down. And, and so that keeps my heart just going so strongly, you know, so people are the, the, the second thing that are so, so, so important that has always given me the courage to follow my heart, to be out there training, to be out there doing one more thing, even when I'm tired, even when I don't feel like it, it's, it's, it's so, so, so important. So the first is belief and events build belief. And, and not only company conventions, but I will tell you, Eric, I, I don't know if you remember, but um, one, of the, one of the events that really built my belief was the three days I spent with you in 2014 mm. um, at the rented house in Las Vegas. There were 10 of us. It was a, a breakthrough coaching event or something like that. And oh my gosh, that... that I'm going to talk about that in a moment because I want to talk about mentorship next. But but those are the kinds of things that open you up to what's possible, right? Events, big events. And so that that was a game changer for me as well, definitely. And so, so the third thing that I want to talk about is personal development and mentorship. That's also a way to build your courage to... Um, build a big impact, to create a big impact. You know, investing in yourself, very, very key. It's very, very important. Um, I've always invested in myself and not only in going to um, events, not only in reading, not only in paying for programs, but also in mentorship. And I have been really, really blessed to have three amazing mentors in my life over the course of my network marketing career that I have paid money to, um, to help me progress in my career. Now, of course, I've had amazing mentors in my business as well, who I have learned a great deal from. But my first mentor, and it was so amazing, I connected with him again yesterday, I haven't talked to him in about nine years, uh, Keith Kochner. And he was the first person that I really understood mentorship with. And he taught me a lot. But there's two things that he taught me that I want to share with you. One is to serve. Now, he told me a story that has stuck with me to this day and has really informed a lot of what I do now and a lot of what people around me do with me. And he wanted mentorship. He was a, a young guy, 18, you know, wanted to rise up in the world. And he went to one of the top people in personal development and motivational speaking. This, this guy was a millionaire. He was at the top of his game. And he went and knocked at the door of his house. And he said, listen, I want to be able to ask you questions. I am prepared to come and clean your pool and do your garden work every morning if I can get a question from you every single day. And that's how he gained access to a mentor by serving and giving value to that mentor. Now, six years later, he ended up running that man's company. And that act of service, providing value to your mentors has something that has stuck with me for so very long. When he used to come into Toronto, I would offer to pick him up from the airport. I would drive him to wherever he's going. I would look for any way that I could serve him so that I could gain access to him and that I could ask him questions. And I remember one of the questions that I asked him when I was talking about my business and where I was at at that time. And at that time, I was still working in my corporate job. You know, I was still getting paid very well in my corporate job. And I realized that that pay, that salary from my corporate job means that I, I was having fun at my network marketing business, but was I really, really, really committed? And he said something to me 
it was along the lines of burning your bridges. Now, he didn't mean quit your job and um, go out and do network marketing full time if you weren't ready for that. But what he meant was you need to act as if you have burnt your bridges. And it was only when I actually quit my job and moved to Africa that that really hit home for me because I always had that plan B. I always had that out. I always had a corporate salary coming in. But when I moved to Africa and I actually quit my job, it, it was, I was, I was in, I was all the way in and there was no way I was going back to Canada. I was going back to my old company, asking for my job back, having all my family and friends, you know, um, say, well, you know, we, we told you <laughs> there was no way. So I had to make it work and I had to be so resourceful. So those were those were two things that that really, really struck me. So I always tell people that when you are looking to get some mentorship from someone, when you're looking to spend time with someone, look for a way you can serve them. Look for a way you can add value. You know, we have people in our business that are so amazingly helpful at uh, whether it's setting up events or always there when you need them, always first in line um, to offer assistance and support. And those kind of people, I will give my time. I will always be available for them because they're giving so much value. They're giving so much service in return. So always look for ways you can serve and add value, especially if you want to gain access in return. For me, I try to do as much as I can, even with my current mentors or our corporate team, I try to add value where I can. I try to serve because I know that that allows me maybe the opportunity to um, have conversations I might not normally be able to have because I am I'm serving and I'm adding value. So those were two things that I got from Keith Kochner, my very first mentor. My second big mentor will be no surprise to any of you on this call, and that is Eric Worre. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about three things that I got from him because attending his events have really been a game changer for me, a game changer. The first thing that I've heard him say again and again and again, and it's really sinking in right now, is think bigger, faster. Think bigger, faster. And now that I'm exposed to Eric, I'm part of his next level mastermind. I attend every single program he puts out without fail. Um, you know, I'm exposed to, to seven figure earners, to, you know, seven figure plus earners, to people who are doing incredible things, building, building global teams uh, with hundreds of thousands of people. And it just shows me how much bigger I can go. So that has been amazing. Think bigger, faster. That's one of the key lessons that I have from Eric Worre. Another key lesson, I'll always remember this. We were, we were in that three-day program. It was a, a personal coaching breakthrough program. And there were 10 of us from around the world in a house with Eric and Marina for three days. Um, some, some great, amazing friends showed up, Jordan Adler and others. And we each had um, a, a short time to have a little one-on-one -on -one with Eric near the end of the program to kind of talk about what we learned and get some last advice from him. And I had my, my GoPro book. It, was, it, was, it had just come out and he was going to sign it for me. And, you know, at that point, I was still only earning a few thousand dollars a month. I still wasn't earning a lot, but I was still investing in my personal development. And... He, he could see, I think, that I, I, I really wanted to make impact, but I wasn't doing enough of the right activities. You know, I was, I was loving to train, I was loving to coach, but I wasn't doing enough of the basic income producing activities. And what he told me, and he wrote it in big letters in my book, was 80%. Spend 80% of your time recruiting because I hadn't earned enough yet to spend as much time as I did training and coaching. I needed to spend time building. So 80% was the figure he wrote in, in my book and I will never forget that. So that was another big one for me. And then 
the third thing that he taught me at that, and this was all part of that event. Of course, I've got so many things from him <laughs> between then and now. But the third thing, which was um, also an eye opener for me, was he taught me to create the resources you want to have. Don't wait for anyone. Don't wait for your upline. Don't wait for the company. Don't wait for anyone. If you need something for your business, go out and make it happen. And I remember after that three-day event, we really didn't have a, a short opportunity video with our company. Our company was still pretty new. And, you know, I wasn't one of the top people in the company, but I came back from that event and I created a short video. I think it was six or seven minutes. I worked on the script. I got someone to help me with it. We got it produced. And that was the video that our, our team used for several years. And that's what he taught me. And ever since then... I will just create whatever I need to run the business. I don't wait for anyone else. If I can share it widely and give people access, I do. So that was something, three things that I got from Eric. One was think bigger, faster. The next is spend 80% of your time building your business, doing income producing activities. In my case, it was recruiting. And the third thing was create what you want, create the resources that you need for your business. Now, the last uh, mentor that I'm going to talk about is someone that I've met just this year who has made a great impact on my life. I'm hoping that he his technical difficulties allowed him to join this, this call as our special guest. His name is Ugo Chuku Omiogu, and he is Nigerian. And what he has brought to my life has been amazing, um, but it's been, it's been so great to work with him because he is African and my business is based uh, for the large part in Africa. And so it's been very, very fantastic to have a mentor in my life who understands the nuances of this environment, this continent. And he's taught me some very interesting things and I'm continuing to learn every day as I do from, from Eric and Marina as well. And two things I want to share about what he's taught me. You know, he's taught me that what we're actually doing is we are creating a community. And our community is a community that exchanges value, that we need to be creating value in our community outside of what our company offers for products or services and outside of what our company offers for compensation plan, that it is in that community that we can actually create retention, that we can create wealth, that we can attract people to us who want to be part of us just because we have this amazing community. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the health um, business. That's what our company does is health and wellness. So, you know, some of our, our, our teams have started health clubs. Some are starting other kinds of um, training and talks that add value beyond just the product and the business opportunity. The other thing that he has taught me, which has also been fantastic, and I'm already seeing some, some great, great, great results as we move forward. And that is that, and, and it's so interesting because I come from a corporate world. I was a senior executive. I understand business. I used to deal with you know, executives at banks, but I've never treated my network marketing business really like a business where I'm CEO, where I am recruiting specifically to fill certain slots, where I am um, creating people as, you know, heads of department, if you will. So I haven't really treated it like a business with a budget to, um, go out and build a new market. What are the revenues going to look like? What are the expenses going to look like? And more than that, each person in my team, if they're ready and able to take it on, should be and can be the CEO of their own business. And so that's been a very, very interesting journey. That's something I'm working on now. And it's been really incredible to see people start to soar. I think that at least for me and maybe for others, it can be sometimes a challenge because you get used to doing a lot 
and your team is looking at you to lead the way. And so you're doing what seems like everything. You're doing the training, you're doing the, you're setting things up, you're doing the tours, you're doing a lot of things. But what actually will give us that independence, that much more global impact, the top global earners is when everyone is doing that for themselves. And so those are things that I've really learned from Ugo. We call him uh, Ugo here popularly. I know Ugo Chuku uh, is maybe a little bit of a, a challenging name for North Americans. And so those are things that I've learned from him. And I think that mentorship, personal development is so, so, so key because a mentor is someone who can accelerate the process for you. To take the process away, they don't do it for you, but you can shave literally years off of your business life by having a mentor who can guide you to go faster. So that has been an amazing part of fueling my courage, um, giving me that, that courage to follow my heart because I know that I have people who I can learn from and who I can grow from. And so that, that, has, been, that has been really, really fantastic as well. And so my challenge for all of you listening, you know, if you don't have a mentor, I would really recommend that you find one, all right? Whether you find someone, Eric was a mentor to me for, for a long time before I'm, I'm as close to his circle as I am now because I would follow every program he did. I would follow all of his videos. I would read his book, you know? And so you can find someone to learn from, to accelerate the process. Make sure you have that person, even if it's accessing them online. But if you want access to someone who can help you accelerate the process live and in person, then think about either finding a paid coach or finding someone that you can add value to, that you can serve, that you can be in their space and that you can learn from. That's my first challenge. My second assignment is you need to think about two events that you will either create or attend before the year is out to deepen your belief. One of those events needs to be GoPro. There is no question. But the other thing you need to do, aside from just attending, is you need to go all out. All out to get as many people as possible to these events. You know, when, when I promote GoPro, I've literally had people ask me if I am getting a cut from every ticket because I promote it so hard, but I'm not. I just believe in the value so much. And I know that if people can simply get to the events, whether it's the big company convention, whether it's a personal development event, whether it's GoPro 2021, if they can only get there, my work is done. It makes it so, so, so easy if we can put them in front of the events. And so don't rest until people think that you are being paid to promote the event, that they're sick of hearing of it from you because it will pay off. So that's what I really wanted to, to, to share today. And uh, thank you so much, Eric, for, for giving me the opportunity. I'm hoping that my mentor, Ugo, is also on the program. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trying. He, he keeps trying to log in, but it's, it doesn't appear like it's working. And I do okay. understand and am empathetic um, to internet and technology issues in your area of mm -hmm. the world. It's not always the easiest to be able to get the bandwidth. But here's what I'd like everybody to do. Oh, he's trying again. Let's see if it comes through. Um, <clears throat> Here's what I would like everybody to do. Number one, make sure that you get your ticket to uh, GoPro 2021. Number two, put into the comments what value you've received from this training so far. What's one of your big takeaways? Number three is share this with somebody that would get value. Click on the share button or copy them into the comments and share this. And uh, I'm going to see if I can add him. I'm not sure if I can, but I'll try. It's just thinking. Okay. Hello, hello. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, it doesn't look he was, like. He said he was waiting for access. I wonder if it's because it was the same link. No? Okay. 
Mm. Eric, can I can I share something that of course. Um, really touched my heart? You know, um, I, I'm divorced. I don't have my own kids. And so I, I feel like what I'm doing and my mission to impact a million families is really because I, I don't have children. I don't have a legacy of my own. So, so I view my team, I view everything I'm doing as my legacy instead of children. But one person who's so close to me is my mom. And she's never uh, really understood what I do. You know, I think really she wishes I would probably pack it in and come home and maybe get a job. <laughs> but, you know, something amazing happened last week which was so beautiful. It was my birthday and some of my leaders um, put together kind of an impromptu tribute on a Zoom meeting for me. And it, it just, it was so beautiful. It, it made me cry. The, the, the stories about the impact I've had in their lives. And, you know, I sent it to my mom. I didn't actually know if she would even listen to it, but she watched it. And she replied to me that she cried watching it. And mm -hmm. that she now realizes what I'm doing and that she's so proud of the lives I'm touching. And so, you know, that kind of made everything all worthwhile. It was really, really amazing. Um, Ugo is trying fun? to call me, so I'll, I'll let you, uh, I'll see what he's, what he's up to. Oh, okay. he says he's in. He's in now, he says. Okay, I don't see him yet, but uh, we'll try and add him if, if, okay, he, if he can join. See, we'll see. Bear with us one moment. We'll see if we can add this uh, one of Ann's other big mentors to be able to provide some value for for you for a moment. We'll give it a second. Great, 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 awesome. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting building building the market in in Africa. Um, can be challenging because you don't always have good internet, like you said. And, right. um, you know, when we all had to move online, that was a stretch. I mean, when I met you, we had, I'd never even done a Zoom before. And you were like, oh my goodness, are you in the dark ages, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's been, it's been a, um, a period of adjustment for sure for, for us here in Nigeria and other parts of Africa uh, moving online. But it, it's it's been great. It just doesn't yeah. always work. Yeah, well, it's always a challenge. I mean, with entrepreneurship, you, you always have to figure out the challenge. Yes. You know what I mean, and how to adapt. Well, Ugo is having difficulty connecting for whatever reason, so we may have to try this another time. Uh, I've seen him try. To, it looks the same coming through every time. Okay. So uh, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll do it next time. Um, but everybody, throw into the comments your your appreciation your love for Anne for sharing some ideas and um i hope you have a great day you know it's uh we 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 are a special breed us network marketing professionals and uh just know that you're not alone you know we're doing this together so i hope you get your ticket to gopro i hope you uh join us at that if you don't already have your ticket special.gopro2021.com, bunch of free courses and training. If you get your ticket today at a discount, um, it'll change your life. I promise. Everybody mm -hmm. have a great day and love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. 